Hi, Pop. Hello, darling. Home early. Well, Joe has to get up early tomorrow morning. We decided to have a fast beer and call it a night. Well, that doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> How's the masterpiece coming along? Oh, all right. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Leave it alone. You don't have to snap at me. Sorry, darling. I, I didn't mean to do that. What is it with you in this painting? What do you mean? You never used to mind if I looked at your work. What's so special about this painting? Well, nothing. It's a uh, new work in progress, and it's uh, not ready to be criticized. You always let me look at your first sketches. Well, I'm not very happy with this one. I'd rather keep it to myself. Can't you accept that? What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, there's just something about that painting that's bugging me. I guess I'll just have to get it out of my system. Are you sure it's just the painting that's bugging you? Of course. What else? I don't know. You've been acting strange the last few days. I keep wondering if she has anything to do with it. She? Laura Collins. You've been acting odd ever since you found out she came back to town. That's just imagination. Is it? Are you sure that you're not keeping something from me? I don't keep secrets from my favorite daughter. Well, you never used to. Oh. Hey, yeah, don't worry about me. There's nothing to worry about. What is Laura Collins to you? Mm, an old acquaintance. Is that all? That's all. How well did you know her? Mm, I knew her fairly well when she was Laura Murdoch. And she married Roger Collins and moved out of my social sphere. Yeah, but then why the big interest? Why did you get me to ask all those questions? Because I was curious. About what? About what made her come back to Collinsport. I thought her marriage to Roger was over and she left town for good. I was curious to know why she came back. Pop, that was more than just simple curiosity. You seemed more like you were afraid of her. Afraid? Why would I be afraid of Laura? Well, that's what I want to know. The answer is, I'm not. Well, I guess I'll have to accept that. But I still think there's more that you're not telling me about. I keep seeing fire. What? Huh? Oh, oh, nothing. I, I was just thinking out loud. Does it have anything to do with a painting? Uh, what makes you say that? Well, when you start talking out loud, it's usually because you're getting an idea for a painting. Uh, maybe I am. Well, why would you want to paint fire? Well, fire is very interesting. A lot of interesting colors in fire. Uh, <clears throat> it's getting late, darling. Uh, maybe you ought to go to bed. Are you trying to get rid of me? Oh, no, of course not. I just want to make sure you get your beauty sleep, that's all. Is everything all right? Yeah, sure, Maggie. Fine, fine. Never better. Then why are you pacing? Oh, just thinking. Is that all? Maggie, I'm fine. Don't get on my back. Okay, Pop. Good night. Good night, darling.
Hello. What? Well, she went to bed. I heard the front door slam, so I came out here to see if you'd gone out. Well, I'm back. I'm all right, so go to bed. Pop. Yes? I saw it. What? The painting. I told you I didn't want you to see it. I know, but I got curious. Pop, why did you do it? Why would you paint a thing like that? I, I don't know, darling. It's not much of an answer. I know. That's the only answer I can give you. I don't understand that painting. I, I don't know why I'm painting it. I just know that something is driving me to that canvas. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's like some power outside myself is forcing me to paint that thing. You're not making any sense. No. I know, it doesn't make sense. Nothing about this makes any sense at all. Oh, you're starting to scare me. You're only scared. I'm terrified. and visit you, if you don't mind. Mine? This is supposed to be my day off, and so far I've spent it picking up after a pop. I'm delighted to have the chance to plop down a chair and gab. I'm glad I picked the right day. <laughs> is your father at home? Nope, he's out for his morning constitutional. I thoroughly approve of morning walks. Why morning walks? <laughs> because the blue whale doesn't open its doors until 12.01. It's the afternoon walks I don't like. How about some coffee? I'd love some, thank you. Say, how are things up on the hill? Well, I... I may not have my job there much longer. How come? Is the place getting to be too much for you? I thought that might happen. No, it, it isn't that. It's... I like my job there, and I'll be very, very sorry when I have to leave. Have to leave? Hey, is Roger Collins up to some more of his tricks? Is he working on Mrs. Stoddard to give you the old heave-ho? Nothing like that. Roger's been very nice to me. It's just that David won't be needing me much longer. Well, who's going to tutor him? The ghost of Josette Collins? No, his, his mother's come back. She wants to take him away. So I guess he'll go to a regular school wherever she takes him. Is that why Laura Collins is in town? How did you know she was here? I hear all the local gossip. Oh, well, I'm not up on the local gossip. I didn't know she was the latest target. <laughs> Laura Collins is the biggest news item to hit this town in months, except for Matthew Morgan. You know, everybody is wondering what happened to her, what she's doing in town, and what she wants from Roger. She wants David. Is that all? As far as I know. Hmm. When does she plan to take David away? Well, not for a while. You see, Mrs. Stoddard wants her to stay at Collinwood and get reacquainted with David until things are decided. Hmm. No one knows how long that's going to take. Well, knowing Roger, he'd be only too happy to get rid of David. Well, he, he thinks that Mrs. Collins can do more for David. And chances are he's right. How is Roger reacting to all this? Reacting? I mean, how does he feel about having a long-lost wife suddenly on the premises? Well, they still are separated. But they seem to be getting along very well. He doesn't seem at all nervous? Nervous? I mean, like he's under some kind of pressure. Maggie, I didn't know you were so interested in Roger. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not interested in becoming the town's leading gossip mm -hmm. either. I'm asking these questions because I'm... I'm more worried about somebody who is close to me. Who? Pop. Your father? I have a wild idea that he was somehow involved with Laura Collins at some point in his life. I have good reasons for thinking so, too. Involved in what way? I don't know that. And I'd like to keep my opinions to myself. Vicky, can you answer one question? What is it? Do you really think that the only reason that Laura Collins has come back is to get David? Yes, I do. I hope you're right, for a lot of reasons. I feel very sorry for Mrs. Collins. She seems to have had a hard life, and she needs David very badly. From the little I've seen of her, I like her very much. She seems like a nice woman. I have talked to her. She used to stay in the hotel for a few days, and she came into the coffee shop. 
We chatted a couple of times, just general chit-chat. But I had the same impression of her as you do. That she was a nice woman. And then things started to happen. What things? Weird things, Vicky. Things that I can't even explain. You know, I may be crazy, but I think Laura Collins is behind it all. What mysterious things have been happening? And how do they involve Laura Collins? Oh, Vicky, I'm not even sure that they do. I mean, I, I just don't like what's going on. You're not making any sense. Well, maybe I'd better start from the beginning. I guess maybe you better. Well, Laura Collins came into the coffee shop the first day that she got into Collinsport. We talked, and at that time, I didn't know who she was. I, I thought she was just a nice customer, passing the time of day. Uh-huh. And then I mentioned this stranger to Pop. And he caught a glimpse of her one day, and he wasn't even sure who she was, but he pressed the panic button. He was after me every minute to pump her, to, to find out who she was, what she was doing in Collinsport. He acted as if his life depended upon finding out. And what happened when he did find out? Oh, he flipped, completely. He started hitting the bottle, and even more than usual, and then it started to affect his work. His painting? Yes. One night, he started to paint when he was so loaded, I swear he couldn't even hold a brush. And then the next morning, I, I found the beginnings of a picture that, well, it, it scared me. It was, it was completely different from anything he'd ever done before. I think it was a weird picture. And when it started to take form, it, it really scared me. Why? Well, I wish I could show you the picture. You'd know why. Can't you? Pop wouldn't like it. He doesn't want anyone to see it. What's so strange about it? Everything. The weirdest thing is that Pop doesn't want to paint it. He says it's almost like he's, he's painting it against his will. I believe him. Well, this is all very odd, but what does it have to do with Laura Collins? I can't explain that unless I show you the painting. Mackie, I don't understand any of this. Vicky, I've got to show it to you. Maybe you can explain it. Explain what? This. <laughs> Vicky, can you tell me what would make my father have a compulsion to paint a picture of Laura Collins? No. Even if he wanted to paint her, why would he paint her this way? I don't know that either. Maggie! Hello, Pop. Oh, I see. We have a visitor. Oh, hello, Vicky. Hello, Mr. Evans. Well, I wish you'd pay us a visit a little more often. I, uh, want to... What's this cover doing off my painting? You showed it to Vicky, didn't you? Yes. Well, didn't I ask you not to show it to anyone? Don't you ever listen to anything yeah. I tell you? I'm sorry, Pop, but I thought maybe she could explain it. There's nothing to explain. It's, it's a, just a painting, that's all. Nothing special. I told her the truth, Pop. You did what? I told her the truth. I told her the whole story about the painting. Thanks very much for your loyalty. I'm sorry, Pop, but I, I had to tell somebody about it. I had to. It's my fault, Mr. Evans. I was curious about it. I've got to trust you, Vicky. I want you to promise that you won't tell anyone that you saw this. All right. Don't tell anyone. Not a soul. Not if you don't want me to. You're an honest girl, Vicky. I, I think I can trust you. Is everything Maggie said the truth? Yes. Yes, I... I, I, I don't want to paint it. Just something. Sometimes I'd just rather cut off my arm than work on this thing. Something forces me to that canvas. Something I don't pretend to understand myself. Tell her when it all started, Pop. Uh, a few days ago. A few days ago? It started the first time that he saw Laura Collins. My name is Victoria Winters. A strange power has taken hold of a man's hand and mind and caused him to use his talents in a way which he finds impossible to explain. What made me paint this? I only wish I knew. Pop, you've painted things before and you haven't known where the idea came from. Uh, 
Sure, sure. But a painting like this, with this kind of intensity, had to come from someplace specifically. I'm sure there must be an explanation. Pop, you've been thinking about Laura Collins ever since she came back. It's obvious to me where you got the idea from. Oh, okay, okay. I'm willing to buy that. But that doesn't explain the, the mood and the, the feeling of this painting. The control that it's got. The feeling that I got when I worked on it. And why all the fire in it? Why is it such a violent painting? Pop, it's because I explained the legend of the phoenix bird. I remember that it affected you. It's a logical explanation for everything. Yeah. I've disliked my canvases before, but I've never hated one before. I hate this one. I loathe it. I, I can't stand to look at it. Pop, take it easy. I feel like that thing owns me. It dictates to me. It commands me. I don't ever want to put a brush to it again. I don't want to look at it anymore. What are you doing? Once and for all, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to throw it into the sea. Wait. I want that painting. What do you mean? I want it. How can you want this painting? I don't know. There's something about it. Yeah, that's why I'm throwing it away. There's something about it. Well, rather than throw it away, let me buy it from you. I wouldn't sell you a painting like this. Vicky, you can't be serious. I am. I'd like to have it. And I'd like to tell you, you to tell me exactly what in here that it appeals to you. I don't know, but something does. Well, look at it. Tell me why you want it. It's just something I feel. It's an evil, horrible painting. I've never painted subject matter like that in my life. Nor will I ever. Vicky, I just as soon he did get rid of it. He won't be the same until it's out of here. Well, if you're going to get rid of it anyway. You want it that badly? Yes. All right. It's yours. A gift from me to you. But uh, not with sincere compliment. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me for that kind of thing. Mr. Evans. Yes? There's an area here that you've left unpainted. I know. What were you going to put there? I don't know. Pop, you must have had something in mind to leave a space that large open. I'm telling you, I don't know why. I've been staring at it, staring at it, and I don't know what goes in there. I was just curious. Yeah. Well, if you look at it as long as I have, you'll cease to be curious. But I want to tell you something. When you've looked at this long enough, don't bring it back here. I won't. No. I want you to destroy it. I'd never do that. Throw it in the sea here. Or cut it up, or, or burn it. Yeah, yeah. That's what you should do. That's the what had had done to it. It should be burned. Yeah. And if you destroy it, which I'm sure you will, I want you to come back and tell me after you've done it. After you've done it. And don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings. Pop, please take it easy. The painting won't be here anymore. And you can get on to some other work. Yeah, I, uh... Feel better already. I think I'll uh, go down to the Blue Whale and uh, get a little brainwashing. Get some inspiration for a new canvas. It'll make you feel better. Well, it'll rejuvenate me. Goodbye, Vicky. And uh, good luck with your acquisition. Thank you again. Oh, don't thank me. I wish I could sh suggest a frame for it, but um, I can't think of any frame that would be right for it. to apologize for the things my father said. You don't have to. Well, he's been behaving that way ever since he saw Laura Collins. He hated this painting. I don't understand. Well, what I don't understand is why he wanted it in the first place. I can't explain the way I feel. Do you really like it? Well, it's, it's not a, a question of liking it. I just think that this is a very important painting. Come on, Vicky. My father is a good painter, but he doesn't turn out masterpieces. What I mean is that there's some meaning behind it, some kind of a, a fascination about it that intrigues me. It's almost as though... No, that's absurd. What were you going to say? It's almost as though this painting was the real reason that I came here today. The 
Mickey, you've never seen it before, even heard of it. I know. Mikey, there are so many things I don't understand. Vicky, I have an idea that you could explain it better than I could. I am going to wrap this for you. It's not the sort of thing you should be seeing carrying through the streets. Say, so, you know, I just thought of something. I wonder what Laura Collins will say when she sees it. Lights be gleaming, send the beam across the bay. Or is it uh, let the lower lights be beaming, send the gleam across the bay? Whichever it is, you seem to be doing both. <laughs> oh, Maggie, I feel good. You can't blame a man for that, can you? Well, there's such a thing as feeling too good. Oh, I can't tell you how great I feel getting rid of that canvas. Now you get some rest. You know, you're going to feel <sighs> terrible in the morning. Oh, no, my mind's too busy to get any rest. I've been thinking all night about a, a seascape. There's an old battered hulk up on the beach. It's half in the water and half out. Sounds fine. Yeah, I've been thinking about the composition. I want to get a few lines on here before the night's out. I wish you wouldn't. Oh, I won't be up too late. I'll, you go to bed, Maggie. I'll be all right. Okay, Pop. Good night. Good night. Mr. Evans. Oh, yeah. Hello, Vicky. I didn't expect to see you back again so soon. Well, I brought you a visitor. So I see. Hello, Davy. Hi, Mr. Evans. I hope we're not disturbing you. Not at all. Come on in. Sit Is down. Maggie... Take your coats off. Is Maggie here? No, uh, it's her long day at the coffee shop, so she won't be here. She'd be sorry she missed you. Well, I promised David that we wouldn't stay too long. He just wanted to thank you. Thank me for what? The painting you gave me yesterday. David saw it and admired it, so I let him hang it in his room. I see. Well, I'm glad you like it, Davy. Oh, I like it a lot. It looks just like my mother. Well, that's the highest of praise. My Aunt Elizabeth wants to, to take it away, but I'm not going to let her. I want to keep it with me always. Well, I'm flattered that you wanted it that much. Oh, boy, I do. It's so scary. Well, I'm afraid there are other people who will agree with you on that. Well... <laughs> I don't mean that I don't like it, because I love scary things. Well, then it has fallen into the right hands. Why did you paint my mother? Because she's a very beautiful lady. I know. But why did you paint her that way, standing in all the fire? Well, uh, I'll tell you something, Davy. Never ask an artist why he paints a certain subject. Oh. But why not? Well... Because he, he never knows why. A painting is, is something that just happens. But you must have had a reason for painting her that way. No particular reason. But you must have. What is it? David, you're asking too many questions. But I've got to know why he painted my dream. Your dream? He's been having nightmares, and your picture reminded him of them. Oh. It's a strange painting. Like, like something out of a nightmare. My mother is the same in your picture as she is in my dream. Even the same expression is on her face. Well, uh, tell me about your dream. Well, 
I keep dreaming that my mother's standing somewhere with fire all around her. Uh-huh. What happens then? Well, she calls out, but I can't hear what she's saying. All I know is it keeps getting hotter and hotter, and the fire starts falling from every place, and I can hardly see her through the smoke. It keeps getting hotter and hotter, and then I always wake up. Yeah. I see. I always feel like something's gonna happen, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, that's uh, very curious, Davy. Why did you paint my dream? Well, maybe we both travel on the same psychic wavelength, huh? Huh? What? Well, they, uh, they say that thoughts can travel from person to person. Maybe something like that is happening to us, huh? You mean like you can read what's going on in my mind? Well, it's something like that. In fact, I think I know what's going on in your mind right now. You do? Yes. I get a vibration saying that you like cider and cookies. Am I right? What? You like cider and cookies? Well, yes, but... Uh... Well, it just so happens by a stroke of good luck that there's some cookies and cider out there in the refrigerator. So why don't you go and help yourself to them, huh? You're kidding me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. It's just that you look hungry. But you haven't answered my dream. You haven't answered my question. Yeah? About my dream. Why did you paint my dream? Well, I can't answer that. I just say that probably it's just coincidence. Hmm? You think, you really think that? I really do. And those cookies and cider are waiting for you out in the kitchen, so why don't you just run out there and get at them, huh? Well, okay. And uh, don't uh, worry too much about your dream and my painting. I don't think there's any real connection. I was just thinking there was something spooky. I agree with him. What? Well, I, I didn't want to say so in front of the boy, but his description of his nightmare corresponds exactly with the vision I've been having. A woman standing in fire, the heat, the smoke, everything is the same. And you do think that there's a connection? Oh, I, I don't know. I just know I started another painting this morning and it frightens me. A painting of what? It started out to be a seascape, but it turned into this. It's another woman in fire. Uh, I don't know why I painted it. It's the last thing I'd ever want to paint in the world. I don't seem to be able to help myself. Can't get the vision of this woman out of my head. I really just doesn't make any sense at all. It certainly doesn't. Is it going to be Laura Collins again? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't supposed to be her when I started the one before. But uh, the face came in later. What are you going to put there? I don't know. I know that something is supposed to be there. I, I just don't know what. Looks like she's holding something. I wonder what it's supposed to be. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to think about it. I, I, I don't want to look at it. Oh, I'm sorry, Vicky. I needed this. It's all right. Well, it's just that... It's not so that I can forget, but if it would drive this vision out of my mind, it would obliterate it. I would drink myself into death, but it just won't. Mr. Evans? Yes? Something strange happened to me yesterday. Oh, what happened, Vicky? Well, it's very hard to explain, but... Something came over me and made me take that painting back to Collinwood. Well, you don't want the painting? No. Frankly, it scares me. Well, I can't blame you for that. But something made me take it. And later, something made me show it to David, even though I knew it would upset him. Something beyond my power. Something forced me. Oh, that's the same feeling I've had. There must be some explanation. Oh, 
I just want to forget it, and I think it'd be wise for you to do the same. What about that painting? Can you forget that? Yes. I've got to forget it or I'll lose my mind. I, I don't want to go back to it, ever. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I'm going to slash it, burn it, destroy it. I don't, I don't know what. I, I just know I can't work on it. I can't. Miss Winters? What is it, David? Would you like some cookies? Oh, no, I think you've had enough for both of us. Go and get your coat. It's time to go home. So soon? Yes, your Aunt Elizabeth's going to wonder what happened to us. Thanks again for the painting, Mr. Evans. Oh, you're welcome, Davy. You're very welcome. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Vicky. Remember what I told you. Things sometimes are best forgotten. I'll try. Come on, David. Thank mm -hmm. you.